morning everyone, today is November 3rd, we are in for a new daily crypto news show. Uh, we're gonna talk about the current state of the market with a lot of things happening during the night. We're gonna talk about Hong Kong regulation uh, getting tighter and tighter with the grip of the Chinese um, increasing on Hong Kong. We're gonna also talk about how the crypto market is split over Trump's US election chances much more than in traditional markets or traditional finance we can also talk about paypal that raised the bitcoin weekly limit uh, from 10k to 15k per week so let's get to it current state of the market a bit under 398 billion dollars bitcoin sitting north of 13.5k and this has been mostly smaller uh, altcoins that have been going down, such as uh, Bitcoin Cash, almost 7% <coughs> drop over the past 24 hours. Chainlink also almost 7%, and then we have Binance and a bunch of other ones dropping. Most of them also being in DeFi space, where the, it's been quite bloody over the past few days. So what about the market? So we talked about Bitcoin quite flat. What's important is to see that the correlation between Bitcoin and stocks has been actually going down over the past few days, which is very, very nice to see, especially ahead of an election that could uh, be really dangerous for traditional markets. So it, it, Bitcoin is, seems to play as a safe haven role, which is really the narrative I like the most on Bitcoin. I wouldn't say the same thing as usual for altcoins that are much more risk on assets, as we saw actually when I went on the 24 hours performance, altcoins went down, Bitcoin was stable. Also, volume has been going up uh, close to $500 million on Monday, which is uh, two times the past month's average, which was sitting at $250 million. Probability of Bitcoin being over 13K by a November expiration date of the options is 42%, 27% north of 14K, and um, sorry, 42% chance of Bitcoin being over 14k and 27% chance of Bitcoin being over 15k by November expiration date. Wow, this is really bullish on the option market. Ether also has a bullish message. Uh, the number of Ether has been systematically going down for, uh, since the DeFi craze of April. So less and less Ether are stored on exchanges, which means that people are using them mostly to provide liquidity, which is good because it means more users, more use cases, more builders and less speculators. So I really like this, all of this news. Bitcoin slides uh, slided uh, 3% uh, during the Asian uh, session, mostly because of UOB uh, FUD. A lot of people are saying the member might have been arrested, that the regulator is really not happy with UOB, and so we've seen a lot of withdrawal from uh, the exchange. What they've been saying is that the SFC, Securities and Futures Commission of Hong Kong, has said that um, the fact to comply um, to the securities regulations of Hong Kong for all the crypto exchanges might not be and will probably not be an opt-in mechanism as it used to be. So all the exchanges are asked to comply ASAP, which uh, clearly we can see the Chinese government behind uh, not willing uh, to um, let these exchanges have some kind of an anonymity. Uh, so this is this is. It's a negative for privacy, but overall, it's a, a trend we've seen all over with also BitMEX and all the other exchanges uh, and governments asking for more uh, KY, KYC. Uh, also, it also shows that the Bitcoin's honeymoon in Hong Kong might be over. And this also coincides with the fact that uh, China's you know pilot of digital currency electronic pay payment has already processed over 4 million transactions and Chinese will prefer you to use their own cryptocurrencies and to use a Bitcoin that they do not control, at least not uh, totally. <laughs> so this is this is uh, quite interesting. Uh, I do believe this is a trend. If we want mainstream adoption, uh, there must be some kind of uh, oversight by governments, which I do not like on a philosophy perspective, but I think is necessary if we want Bitcoin to be used for day-to-day uh, -day payments and not only as a safe haven. 
what do we have else? Crypto market split over Trump's US election. This is quick but really interesting market. So if you want to bet with your crypto on this uh, outcome, you can bet on Ogu or Poly market. And on this market, Trump has a 38% chance of winning. But if we look on traditional markets, the chance uh, on uh, the odd are much, much lower. As uh, So this is interesting to see a different thing. And uh, as we can see, also I wanted you probably know this website, 538. It takes all the polls in the world and makes some kind of uh, probabilistic, um, probabilistic uh, outcomes. But I just played with it. So if you take just the normal thing and do not play and just take the normal model, uh, mathematical model, Trump is actually with a 10% chance of winning and Biden 89%. But if you, I was just thinking like uh, I see Trump retaining these three, uh, let's say states, Texas, Georgia and North Carolina. And if you just take into account that they, he will retain this state and use the model for the rest, he already has a 36% chance. So uh, I think it will be really, really close, which is making me worried because uh, I believe there will be a, uh, maybe a few days, maybe a week of uncertainty, uncertainty as uh, Trump will probably not declare Biden as a winner if it is a close call and if they have to count all the ballots sent by mail. I believe there might be some violence and people getting frustrated with this uh, election. So this is quite worrying for me and this is uh, something I'm taking into account. And if this is the case, it's a, a close call victory and people in a, a phase of uncertainty, I expect uh, stock markets and altcoins could to go down, Bitcoin to go slightly down, but being one of the most resilient assets with gold. This is my forecast. And one bullish, really bullish news is PayPal has raised the weekly limit to buy Bitcoin from 10K to 15K. And just read this, currently only 10% of customers in the US have access to the new crypto service. Only 10%. The rest will have access in the first half of 2021. Uh, so for now, most US customers do not have access to Bitcoin. This uh, mass influx of new users might just happen in 2021, and I'm really looking forward to it. Another thing to look forward to is that Bitcoin, uh, PayPal had had really a good quarter with 361 million active accounts. It's a 22% increase quarter over quarter. So we, they have more and more users and this user will be familiar to Bitcoin going forward. So this is really bullish, and I'm really happy that PayPal finally dived in in the cryptocurrency space and mostly into the Bitcoin space. So this is all for today. Please stay safe, and I'll be paying close look to the US election, hoping that it will go smoothly, and with not a lot of violence. Be safe.